Hi, in this video, we are going to use the hotspot widget of Elementor. This is really a very cool feature these days. As you can see over here, I have used a Mercedes car image and this car has so many little points which are continue blinking. So basically when I hover on any of these points, you can see a pop-up comes up that is basically a kind of tooltip that has some kind of information like, yes, I'm a windshield. In the same way, if I put mouse on it, it shows that I am a fuel tank. So you can display your own content on these tooltips. Anyways, when we go on to this front grill, you can see it do have a buy now button as well, which is linked to Google page right now. So you can link with your own custom page with the help of this buy now button. So I will also guide you how we can put this kind of button on this tooltip. So my name is Saddam Kasim. I'm your WordPress instructor. Without further delays, let's start this hotspot tutorial. So this is my WordPress dashboard. Now to use the hotspot widget, you need to have two plugins installed on your WordPress website. The first one is Elementor free version, which is of course available free of cost in the WordPress plugins directory. And the second plugin is Elementor Pro, which is the premium version that you can directly buy from the original author website for around $49. Or you can simply visit a website that is wpscratch.com. And from this website, you can get this plugin for just $10 for the lifetime. So here you can check this is the Elementor Pro plugin for just $10. So to buy this plugin, just click on this add to cart button. Now you can jump on the checkout page. Okay. And from here, after filling the billing form, you can make the payment and get this plugin for just $10. And after the successful payment, it will be downloaded in .zip format on your computer. So after that, you have to upload it in your WordPress website. Anyways, let's go ahead and we can create a new page so that I can show you the demonstration of hotspot widget in Elementor. So here we can type something like, this is just the page title. Let's click on publish. Now let's load the Elementor page builder. Okay, so this is the Elementor screen from where we can start testing the hotspot widget. First of all, we need to take a section. So let's click on this plus and then we can take one column section. Now the section settings are open on the left hand side. If you can't find these settings, just click on these six little dots, right click, edit section, and this panel will be opened. So under the layout tab here, we can see content width, it is boxed. So make sure it should be boxed. And from here, you can set the width of this entire section. So if I use this slider, you can see this is the width that we can set manually. So it would be better if we can set it to 800. Now let's click on this plus icon. So the list of all the widgets will be opened on the left sidebar. In the search widget box, we need to search for hot spot. Okay, so this is the premium widget. Just drop it inside this section. Okay, so here we can see this is the placeholder image and on the left hand side, we can see edit hot spot. So these all are the settings that has been opened by default. Now, first of all, we have to upload an image. So let's click on choose image. Then we can go on to the upload files, click on select files and we can upload an image into our media library. So let's click on open. Okay, it's time to click on insert. So this car image appears over here. Now make sure to set the image size to full. Okay, after that we need to jump on hotspot tab. Now before playing with the hotspot options, let's come on to the image and here you can see there is a little icon which is continue blinking. This is what we call hotspot. So first of all, let's jump on the style tab and we can change the color of this hotspot. So it will be better visible on the black car. Now let's scroll down. Here we have the hotspot tab. Okay. Right now you can see the color is blue. Let's make it white. Okay. Now it is better visible. Let's come back to the content tab and jump on the hotspot tab again. Now here we can see by default, there is an item, item number one. Just click on it. So this section will be expanded. Okay. Now here we can see there are so many fields that you can play with. First of all, there is a tab content under which you can play with the content. And then after we have the tab position, so you can specify the position of this hotspot. So first of all, let's go ahead and we can change the position of this hotspot. I'm just going to put this hotspot icon on this windshield. I mean the front glass of the car. So here we can see horizontal orientation. This is offset. And this option is for vertical orientation. So let's move this slider a little bit left. You can see. The hotspot position is now moving left. Then after we can change the vertical position. So let's make it something like this. And I think I should shift a little bit to right. Okay. So in this way, we can specify the position of the hotspot icon. Now let's come back to the content tab. Under the label, you can give it a title just like windshield. So it will appear something like this. But I know this doesn't look good at all. So let's remove it from here. 
then scroll down here we have the tooltip content so in this box you can type your own content firstly let's delete it and we can type over here windshield now when i move mouse over here and i click on it you can see windshield appears so let's make it bold okay after that we can change the line and here i can type i am a windshield or you can type your own content that is completely been up to you okay now let's click on this hotspot icon again you can see the content has been written now let's go ahead and we can add a new hotspot icon so to do that you need to just go on to this hotspot section again collapse this item number one tab and then click on this add item or you can duplicate the existing one like this then expand the item number two first of all we need to change the position so go on to the position tab as we have already duplicated the first one that's why the second one is also appearing over here so let's change the position I'm just shifting the horizontal orientation to something right okay then we can change the vertical orientation now let's jump on the content tab okay here we can put something like MRF tires keep moving as always you can write your own content over here after that we can close this tab then again we can duplicate it then jump on the item number three firstly jump on the position tab and change the position of this hotspot okay so i'm just moving it to right like this and then we can change the vertical orientation cool now let's come on to the content tab and here we can type side indicators again close this tab duplicate it and then item number four firstly change the position okay Now let's come on to the content tab and here we can type front grill okay one more hotspot icon i'm going to add over here so let's duplicate it once again expand the item number five change the position so let's change it okay then come on to the content tab and here we can type fuel tank now let's add one last duplicate it again expand the item number six firstly we can change the position okay then go on to the content tab and here we can type drl i love drls in the car so i have added total six hotspot points on this car image now let's close this tab and it's time to jump on the tooltip tab let's click on it under the tooltip tab we can find the first option position so here we have four positions left top right and bottom now let's select the left i can show you practically what does that means now after selecting the left once i click on hotspot you can see the content is appearing on the left hand side when i select top then after content goes top then right and then bottom i hope you get an idea what does that means now next option is trigger Trigger means what action you need to do on this hotspot icon to display the content. So right now it is click. Let's say we can set it to hover. Okay. So when I hover on this hotspot icon, the content appear. That means on the desktop view, I don't need to click on this hotspot icon to make the content visible. But on the mobile phones, hover effect doesn't work. So here we need to select this icon and then click on this mobile icon because for the mobile, we need to set this trigger effect to click. So specifically on the mobile phones, we must have to click on it. And when we are on the desktop view or on the laptop, then the hover effect works perfectly. Now let's go ahead and we can change the color of this tooltip. So it's time to jump on this style tab. Okay. First of all, let's close all these three tabs. So here we have the settings for image, hotspot and tooltip. Let's jump on the tooltip. Right now, if you can hover on it, you can see the background color is gray. So let's make it a little bit transparent. So scroll down here under the box heading, you can see color option. Right now it is gray. So keep it gray. Just make it a little bit transparent. So this option makes the box transparent. Now let's hover on the hotspot icon again. You can see it is transparent. Also, let's make the corners rounded. So here we can increase the border radius. Let's increase it up to 15. Okay, let's hover again. So you can see these all are the rounded corners. So in this way, you can change the color of this box as well. Let's make it blue. So you can see here, 
it appears just like blue so this color also looks good i hope you get an idea how exactly we can use this hotspot widget now it's time to put a button inside this box so how we can put a button that would be clickable as well as with the hover effect first of all let's jump on the content tab now let's expand the hotspot tab okay i think the front grill was the fourth item so let's expand this one yes it is front grill now let's go ahead and we can put a button inside this box so what we need to do we are just going to use a little html button tag so here we can put button okay and inside it we can put like buy now now let's hover on the front grill so here you can see the code appears actually we did a mistake i have written the code in the visual editor but we need to cut this code from here and we need to paste it inside this text tab okay let's put the code over here and then we can hover so you can see this button appears and it occupies the theme color scheme and styling anyways now let's add a br tag so the button will be placed just below this text okay let's hover on it you can see this is the button now let's update this page first of all because we just need to check the front view of this entire hotspot element also the button is not clickable so keep watching because in the next few seconds i will teach you how we can make this button clickable so let's open this page in a new tab okay so right now it looks something like this but when i click on it this button is not working so let's make this button clickable let's go back okay this is the hotspot element let's jump on the hotspot tab okay item number four and here we need to go back to the text element and just before this button tag we need to add a code that is a h r e f so this tag is basically used to add links in a html document so here we can type something like this okay close this tag and then we can put the link inside this double quotes i'm just opening google.com perfect now let's click on update it's time to refresh our front page now let's hover on the hotspot again and now i'm going to click on buy now here we go so google page has been opened let's go back now it's time to change the button styling i'm going to change the button color and rest of the things so i have just created a small css code this is the code that we need to copy from here i have put this code on my website so the website link has been provided in the video description just go on to the video description copy this entire code from here and then we can come back to the elementor now inside this hotspot widget you just need to go on to this advanced tab then scroll down here you will be finding the custom css option make sure this custom css option is only available in the elementor pro plugin and here you have to paste this css code okay and make sure at the very top you will be seeing this css class name just copy it from here button hyphen 24 just copy it now come back to the content tab go to the hotspot then we can jump on the item number four okay again go on to the text now here you have used the button tag so after the button text just put a space and then type c l a double s class equals to then double quotes and then paste that class name over here like this that's all you have to do also make sure to add the br tag over here once again okay then after we can update this page and now we can refresh our front page okay it's time to hover on front grill so you can see the button goes just downwards and it has the hover effect as well so this code has been written in the css that i have already provided you so just go on to my website that is websoftglobal.com and here you will be finding this link so make sure to check the video description as well i have put the link of this page in the video description copy this entire css code and paste inside the custom css section of elementor pro so i hope you get an idea how to use the hotspot widget in elementor to use it on an image you can put the clickable buttons or the hover buttons and those buttons display some kind of specific information that you would like to display if this video was helpful please make sure to like this video subscribe to this channel and if you want any specific video to be created on your topic then just let me know in the comment section till then have safe health and thank you so much